creatures of the flesh. This week, a face to remember. Say, McDermott, see that GI over there? Yeah. Now, there's a fellow who's got a good yarn for you. Want to meet him? Let's go. Yeah, he's really quite a character. So if you notice anything unusual about him, don't let on, okay? Sure. The fellow meets a lot of unusual guys in this war. Yeah. This guy's kind of sensitive. Hey, Don! Hello, Jack. Hey, come on over. I want you to meet a pal of mine. Okay. Now, remember what I told you. Don't worry about me. What's on your mind, Jack? I want you to meet a friend of mine, John McDermott, United Press. Hello, McDermott. Glad to know you, Don. Say, Don, how about telling McDermott here your experience with that SS man? Is that what you wanted to see me about? Yes. Jack said you might Glad be... Glad to a... have met you, McDermott. Hey, now, wait a minute. Don! Let him go, Jack. It's okay, Don. I know how you feel. See you again. Yeah, sure. See you again. Come on. Well, I told you he was funny. Say, you notice anything unusual about him? You know what I mean. No, uh, not exactly. Except... Uh... Except what? Well, he did have a funny glint in his eye. Yeah, that's it. You know why? No, I don't any more than I know why he's over there at the prison pen, looking over those Nazis. Listen, McDermott, that guy's been looking over prison pens and walking up and down the front lines ever since he escaped from the Nazis. Looking for someone? Yeah. A face. A face with a saber scar on it. The face of a Nazi officer. Yes? And, brother, if he ever catches up with that crowd, there's likely to be a little private warfare on a man-to-man basis. Private warfare, eh? Well, what's it all about? And it began one morning when Don and a bunch of us stormed into a French town full of crowds. What do you say, gang? Let's rush that house. Stay away for reinforcements, Don. That place is full of crowds. Ah, maybe a handful. Hey, look. There's a woman up there in that second-story window. Yeah, I see her. Hey, she's trying to yell something at her. I don't know what she's trying to say, but I aim to find out. Hey, Don, come back here. Don, come here. Hey, you up there. Hey, oh. Don, Don, Don. What happened to Don? Hit bad? Yeah, they got him in the hip. A few minutes later, the crowds captured him. Don near got us, too, but we beat it out of there on the double. And what happened to Don? Well, I was coming to that. Don told me later all about it. The Germans took him to a hospital where a doctor treated his wound. Yeah. How do you feel now? Okay, I guess. Was it bad? <laughs> of a nine. Just a flesh wound. It will be as good as new in a week or so. Yeah, doctor. Yeah, Herr Hauptmann? What is it? I wish to question this man immediately. Very well. But not too long, please. He needs rest. I understand. You may leave us alone now. But if you don't mind... Get out! Yeah, well, Herr Hauptmann. <laughs> now we can talk, eh? What about... Oh, come now. Apparently you don't trust me. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Tell me, what part of America do you come from? Dayton, Ohio. What's to you? Ah, Dayton, Ohio. It's a nice town, yeah? Sure, it's a nice town. And you are married, I suppose? No, I suppose I'm not. <laughs> you have a sense of humor. How long have you been in the Army? Long enough. Now, how about your outfit? What would you estimate at staying? You mean in... Battalions or in divisions? Divisions, yeah, that's fine. Well, let me see. Mm, yeah? Well, I would figure it's none of your damn business. You would figure it's... I would not say that if I were you. I'm saying it, mister, and I'll say it again. As a prisoner of war, I know my rights. All I have to give you is my name and serial number. And you got them both. Now scram. Very well. We will see you later. So far, so good. But what happened to Don? Well, one week later, Don was able to leave the German hospital. But unfortunately, the Nazi officer... 
I ever listened to me. I have been very patient with you. But now my patience is exhausted. You're wasting your time, Kraut. I know my rights under the Articles of War. For the last time, will you give me the number and disposition of American troops in this area? I told you once, Kraut, you're barking up the wrong tree. Schwein! Your stubbornness will get you nowhere. There are ways to make you talk. See this? The blackjack. Why, you... Now, perhaps we can have a little talk. Give me the number and disposition of American troops in this area. Nuts! I'm giving you... You mean to tell me the SS man beat him with a blackjack? Beating is not the word for it, Mr. McDermott. Don's first brush with a Nazi was horseplay. But from then on, well, they took him out of the hospital into a shack where a gang of them beat up on him again. And they left him there for dead, I guess. Because when he regained consciousness... There, there, don't worry. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Don't talk now. Later, yes, but now you drink this. Here. Drink it slowly. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Sleep. Go to sleep now. Sleep. Thanks. It's a good idea. Sleep. 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 To sleep, soldier boy. How long has it been? Three days. Three days. Gosh, Miss. Miss, uh, Pauline. Mine's done. How do you feel, Don? Okay. Gee, Pauline, I, I don't know how to thank you. I, don't uh... worry. You're an American, no? Yes. Yes, I am, no. Oh, you make fun of me, yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to. Say, those, those crowds, where'd they go? They have gone away. You will never see them again. That's one I'd like to see. His face, I'll never forget it as long as I live. And when I find him, I'll break Don't every... Don't talk like that. Your job is to get back to your friends. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta get back. Uh, are you sure you can find them? Suppose they've gone away. <laughs> There's no danger with that. There's plenty of them, too. I must return with you. Are you sure there's plenty of you, how you say it? Sure, I'm sure. What do you mean, plenty? How much is plenty? How much? Say, are you trying to pump me? You do not trust me. I'm sorry. Sure, sure, I trust you, but I... But what? Are you afraid to tell me how big and strong your army is? So, wait a minute. Let's get this straight. Just where do you stand, anyway? I do not understand. I think I do. First the SS men, then the gang, and now you. Dunkov! I thought so. Another crowd. Yeah, I am a German. You will pay for this. Hans! Well, Anna, did he give the information? He is hopeless. A stupid American. So, you still refuse to talk. You heard the lady. You tried blackjacks, rubber hoses, and women. What's next, Mr. Big Man? Go, Anna. Get Friedrich. Go, hurry. It will be a pleasure. <laughs> Well, McDermott, you can guess what happened to Dawn. Another beating, I suppose. The dirty... Worse than that. This time, they broke one of his arms. Then stripped him to the waist and beat him across the back with a cat of nine tails. No wonder he hates him. What then? After that last beating, they took him to another hospital where Dawn met another American prisoner. Gosh, fella, what happened to your face? I got beat up, Mac. By the Germans. Beat up? Oh, but that's against the Articles of War. What Articles? Those crowds never heard of them. If you're smart, you'll do what I'm going to do. What's that? Bust out of here. Bust out of here? 
Oh, you're crazy. You'd never make it. Listen, Mac, it's either that or get beat up again. Now, what do you say? Okay. I'm with you. Fine. Look, here comes a doctor now. Get him in conversation, and I'll do the rest. Ah, and how are my patients this morning? My bandage, doctor. Will you fix it? It, it rubs. Oh, very well. Now, if you will... I'll get his gun, Mac. I got it. What about him? He's our passport out of here. All right, you. You're not hurt. Take us out of here. You're mad. It's impossible. Sure, we're mad. One phone move out of you and you're a dead pigeon. Now get going. I go, I go. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. That took nerve, too. How did they get the rest of the way? Now they forced the German doctor to lead them to a jeep. Then they drove to a farmhouse where the French helped them to get back to the American lines. That's a story, all right. And Don doesn't talk much about it now. But once when I asked him what he was going to do to the crowd when he found them, he said... Listen, Jack. That Nazi will never have a chance to answer any questions. I'll find him someday. And when I do... Sure, I know what you mean, kid. A face to remember. You have just heard John McDermott's dramatic story of a Yang's adventure with Nazi SS men. We will present another in this series in the near future. Be sure to listen. And meanwhile, remember to listen for United Press News on the Air. Look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.